Hello everybody, my name is Abby Lee and welcome to Let's Play Labyrinth. This is my premiere Let's Play video for YouTube and I was so happy to find this game to be my very first YouTube Let's Play. Um, this is Labyrinth. It's based on the movie with David Bowie from the 80s. It was made in 1986. And let's just jump right in and start. I know very little about it uh, other than it it does follow the movie. And here is Jared, uh, David Bowie, the Goblin King. He's a shapeshifter. He's, uh, he's an interesting character. Jared says, I am the Goblin King. Your brother is in my castle beyond the Goblin City. You have 13 hours to solve the labyrinth before your brother becomes one of us. Jareth is a little scary there. His eyes are glowing red. And this is Sarah. She is the main character from the movie. This doesn't really look like Sarah. Uh, she's throwing what appears to be rocks. Maybe they're pine cones. I don't know. I don't see a life bar. I don't see any hit points. There's a piece of jewelry. And the fairies are mean. They are biting Sarah. Oh, there's a heart. Who gets a heart? Let's see. There's Hoggle, Ludo, and Sir Dynamis. He, he was the fox that traveled around riding on the, the shaggy dog. Wonderful. Um, I don't know what the heart's significance is, so I'm just going to give it to Hoggle. Because Hoggle is the first one you meet in the movie. So, there's your heart, Hoggle. And... I'm thinking maybe that you don't really get killed or die. Oh, another heart. Now, we'll give this one to Ludo. Ludo was the gentle giant that called the rocks. Bless his heart. He was just adorable. Okay. A body of water. Um, a door. The door is not opening when I... Uh-oh. Must be some condition I've not met or something I haven't found. Uh... There's some more jewelry. I don't know if those are points. I see points and I see time is counting down. So we better hurry. So I'm just going to sweep the whole area now. The fairies are relentless. Oh no. And we're going... worm from the movie. He was so cute that he gave Sarah really bad advice about going away from the castle instead of going towards it. Now what have I got to do to get in this door? A key maybe? I haven't killed enough fairies. Well, this is obviously getting me nowhere. Do I need to shoot the door? It opened! Oh! Ooh, scary music. The music where she's running through the labyrinth. Where was that worm? He was just here! Oh, okay, here he is. Hi, worm. Hello! Lost? 
Don't take anything for granted. Take this 10 diamonds and good luck. I just teleported through the wall. Fabulous. Okay, we're in the actual, it's more like a, a, a maze or a labyrinth now. Oh, is that a box? Okay, let's take this moment to push start. Okay, here's our item menu. We have jewelry or a necklace or a bracelet. Maybe it's that bracelet that Sarah gave Hoggle in the movie. I don't know. There's one of those crystal orbs, a book, and a pink box. Coins, the characters and their hearts. Oh, a labyrinth key. That's so fancy. Um, looks maybe like a piece of jewelry that David Bowie might wear. And if anybody wants to think they don't like David Bowie, I have news for you. Everyone likes David Bowie. Even if they don't know it and you're not aware of it, you have maybe subconsciously repressed your love for him. But he is... Uh, you know, the Goblin King, so. among other things. And we, we all love him. And don't question Jareth's authority in this labyrinth because he will tip you into the bog of eternal stench and you will stink forever. Okay. And moving on. How do we, okay. And there are monsters. I suppose they're goblins. Since this is, we're on our way to the Goblin City. Maybe that's the oubliette, where she fell down the hole, and it's the place where you put people to forget about them. Maybe? Well, there's some really nasty looking monsters, and a, a stairway. Jewelry! Is this a candle? My time is running out pretty quick, so let's find out what we're doing. More fairies. Is that a book? Yes, now I have a book and one of the boxes. 79 bracelets. Okay. And there's another door. I haven't fully explored this area yet, so that may not be a good idea yet. So, let's see what's over here. Come on, fairies, please! Just give me a break. Okay, here is the bottom wall. More jewelry. I probably should have done some research on this game. It's, uh, I mean, some of it's self-explanatory. Other parts are just like, what is that? Someone who is not familiar with the movie itself would probably get very little out of it at this point. What is that? No. And it took me back to the same corner as the last one did. And I only have six hours and five minutes. Not really. It goes a lot faster. Am I noticing that when I get hit, my time goes down? Yes. <gasps> no! Oh no. This has been a major... A major mess up here. Okay. Well, I may have to, to make some adjustments to what I'm doing. And uh, there's the worm again. Ah, how do I get to him now? Okay. I'm going to have to be more careful. Your your time is apparently 
related to your hit points. Welcome to the Brick Road. You need the key and coin for this level. Okay. Cup of tea. Or perhaps you'd rather trade. Trade for what? Yes, we'll trade. What have I got? Okay. What will it be? Buy A and B. A book, a crystal, or an organ. Oh! What's an organ in this game? Okay, well, I'm going to do a little bit of research. Uh, maybe see if I can not get killed so much or have my time taken away from me as, uh, as I get pulverized by the goblins. So, uh, I'm going to be right back. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. So, uh... See you soon!